Fibrous dysplasia is an abnormal bone growth where normal bone is replaced with fibrous bone tissue. It causes abnormal growth or swelling of bone. It can occur in any part of the skeleton but the bones of the skull, thigh, shin, ribs, upper arm and pelvis are most commonly affected. Fibrous dysplasia is very rare, and there is no known cure. Fibrous dysplasia is not a form of cancer. Most lesions are monostotic, asymptomatic and identified incidentally and can be treated with clinical observation and patient education. This disorder is usually diagnosed in childhood or early adulthood and can affect one or several bones. Males and females of any race are equally affected. Pathophysiology In fibrous dysplasia, the medullary cavity of bones is filled with fibrous tissue, causing the expansion of the areas of bone involved. The bony trabeculae are abnormally thin and irregular, and often likened to Chinese characters. Fibrous dysplasia is characterized by shepherd crook's deformity which refers to a coxivara angulation of the proximal femur. The cause of this transformation, in turn, is not completely known, however. Levels of the transcription factor CFOs are raised in fibrous dysplasia, leading to gene overexpression and tumor formation. It is not hereditary. There are two types of fibrous dysplasia, monostotic, polyostotic. The most severe form of polyostotic fibrous dysplasia is known as McCune-Albright syndrome. Fibrous dysplasia of bone may also be an associated abnormality in neurofibromatosis type 2. Presentation Especially when involving the skull or facial bones, the lesions can cause externally visible deformities. The skull is often, but not necessarily, affected, and any other bone, S, can be involved. Many patients have lesions localized in only one bone, affecting 70 a euro 80%. Others have them in many bones. In 3% of cases, people suffering from fibrous dysplasia also have endocrine diseases and skin pigmentation. The three together constitute McCune-Albright syndrome. These endocrine diseases include precocious puberty, often occurring as early as three years old. In most cases, Fibrous dysplasia has no symptoms and is only diagnosed by accident during investigations for an unrelated medical problem. When symptoms occur, they can include pain, caused by the expansion of bone. Treatment for this is pain management therapy, analgesics and anti-inflammatory medication. Irregular bone growth, bone deformity, increased susceptibility to bone fractures. Treatment. Treatment options may include medication to strengthen bones, medication to treat onset of pain, pain management therapy, surgery. See also, cherubism, dysplasia. References. External links, MRI showing fibrous dysplasia of the femoral neck, fibrous dysplasia at the Duke University Health Systems Orthopedics Program, fibrous dysplasia pictures MED PIX imaging database. Fibrous dysplasia of the skull images Rad Rand Radiology Image Database. Fibrous dysplasia from Radiopedia. Fibrous dysplasia foundation.